Matter of fact, where did that shirt come from? That went alive. A true journalist never reveals her secrets. Uh, <laughs> that's a lie. I ain't gonna even lie. Right. I knew you would like this because uh, got this on so, you know. Anti social out on all platforms. Erlov, you know what I'm saying? That ain't why she got this the shirt. But, you know, since it's already out there, I might as yeah, well. You know what I'm saying? Well. Put that sauce on there. Welcome back to Food for Thought, the podcast where we kick that nutritional life hacks on your ass. I am your host, Twixie, a.k.a. Twixie That Gemini, a.k.a. your girl's favorite rapper. And next to me, as always, I have my friend, my friend, Erla, a.k.a. the what? The beauty boss. There we go, <gasps> man. <laughs> so, you know, we're back with another episode. If this is your first time tuning in, welcome, welcome. We're glad that you're here, first of all. And second of all, hit that uh, subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so you can be notified every time we post a video. You feel me? Yeah, okay. Hold on, I'll give you time. I'll give you time. Go ahead. Go ahead, hit it, hit it right now. I'll know. wait. I think they know. I'll wait. Wake them up. Okay, okay. <laughs> now we in. First of all, you know, we always start off in the beginning with some, some, some bomb ass wine that we like to sippy sip on. What we got today? What we got today, Erla? Berry bomb from your neighborhood Kroger. (laughs) Red wine for the low price of twelve ninety nine. I don't know what it tastes like yet, but we about to find out. Let's find out, bro. (laughs) Let's cheers to uh, um, another day, man, and success because we are going to be successful. We are successful. That part. Manifestation. I like this one. Yeah. What? Hold on. <laughs> Hell nah. What? Did you read this? It's giving you steps. No, yeah, I did read that because I was trying to figure out how it tastes. And I was like, what? I didn't even read the steps, but I was like, what the fuck? I ain't never seen that before. Savor the inviting aromas. Anti ways, we feeling good yeah, on, on on this on this this beautiful day. How you feeling, bro? How was your week? My week was actually pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, week was pretty good. Spent some me time, you know. A lot of me time. Same thing. Time. Same thing for me, bro. I mean, I ain't got nothing special I did this week. Well, I guess that is special. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Spending spending your me time. Big facts. Big facts. Everybody needs their me time to just relax and unwind. You know what I mean. So this podcast, this episode, it's going to be a little touchy, you feel me? Because nobody wants to hold themselves accountable for the things that they do. Big facts. But we're going we gonna to touch on this a little bit. Where should we start? Where should um, we start, man? I guess, I mean, maybe we, maybe we can just be a little, you know, educational, informative, if I say. Okay. Um, let them know what the definition of accountable is. Yes. Now, yes. I'm not no genius or nothing. Bro, so look it up. We about to Google this shit, you feel me? So we're going to see what's up. How do you spell accountability? No, nah, I'm just playing. I'm hey, so. <laughs> so what we got here? We got uh, accountability. Hold on. Accountability. <laughs> the fact or condition of being accountable responsibility and in here i'm gonna put it in a sentence for you the lack of accountability has corroded public respect that's actually a fact man that's actually a fact read that again bro read the sentence again the lack of accountability has corroded public respect that's that bomb shit oh Hey, that's oh, hold on, hold, hold on. <laughs> that's that berry bomb shit. Ooh, and that's it's berry bomb, man. <laughs> hey, that's gonna be the name of the episode. Berry bomb. Berry bomb. Ooh. <laughs> berry bomb. Hell yeah. Because when you're talking about being accountable, I mean, most of the time people don't want to hear it because it yeah. does fall under us, man. I've been a, I've been a victim of that. I'm sure you have. You know? I mean, still, it's here. Like exactly. It's still, not. Yeah, I'm still. not 100. Sometimes you. Your pride getting away, and then later on, it, it ring in the back of your head like, you know what? I gotta hold myself accountable for my actions. You know what I'm saying? But the first, the first intention, the first response to anything is to point fingers. You know what I'm saying? Most people don't just be like, oh yeah, you know what? I did that. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? They mm-hmm. try to, even if they don't point the fingers, 
externally. They're going to be in their head, like, uh, trying to dissect and convince themselves that they're not accountable. But Yes, exactly. So, <clears throat> now that we got the meaning of accountability out there in the open, something that you said during the definition was uh, responsibility. Yes. Responsibility, man. What does that mean? What does that mean to you to be, to have responsibility? What does that mean to you? Um, I guess responsibility, in my opinion, it comes, uh, it's, it's, it's willing to, to take on risk in a sense. And I'll explain that All right, because, break it, down, um, break it down, bro. In my opinion, when you, when you take responsibility, just say it, we'll keep it in length on you. When you take responsibility for your actions, you're willing to accept the rewards and or the consequences. You know what I'm saying? But before going into any situation, you never know. You never know 100% whether it's going to be a reward or a consequence or what the reward or consequence is going to be. So going, to be, yeah. going straight into it, it's, it's you're already taking a risk because you don't know how it's going to go. But you're just you're, you're taking responsibility for your action, meaning that meaning that whatever I do, no matter how it ends, I'm, I'm going to I'm, I'm going to be accountable for whatever that whatever those whatever that response is, or whatever that outcome anything. is. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to be accountable for that. And then that accountability can either be rewarding or it can be, and I won't even say a consequence. We're gonna change that word. It can be a learning experience. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. To where you like, bam, you ran into that brick wall. You ran into whatever it was, and then you learn from that. And then maybe the next time, you know what I'm saying? But all that revolves around accountability. You have to take responsibility for your actions, and you gotta just, normalize that shit. Yeah, man. you gotta take responsibility for like just like just like my boy said, take a, take responsibility for your actions, no matter what. Yep. Um, that's another form of being a coward if you're not doing that. You know what oh, I'm saying? I didn't think about it like that. Exactly. Yes. Uh, let's 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 even dig a little bit deeper into that responsibility um, uh, segment, and let's let's talk about why why you think people aren't responsible. I, I think I think why, it's what, fear. What, what, what you think it's fear? I think it's fear because fear of what that person is going to say. Fear of taking on how somebody how gonna somebody's going to look at you, how how the outcome is going to be like all, all that revolves around fear because if, if how are you how can you be scared to take responsibility but you're not scared to do the action exactly behind it because no most how? people don't think yeah. about they don't sit back before they take a step of, uh, uh, I guess uh, and involve themselves in some type of action they don't take a step back and be like you know what. This bad thing could possibly happen. They all they always think about, oh, if I do this, this will happen. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Not saying not not even knowing how it's gonna happen. They just know, okay, we're gonna um, we're gonna put it in lame terms. Hey, if I steal this piece of candy, I know my taste buds gonna be satisfied. Mm -hmm. And just keep it at and that. That's it. They yeah. don't think about it. If I take this piece of candy, I might be on this camera watching me, or this somebody might see me take this piece of candy, or I can go to jail for it, or whatever the case is. You don't think about that and dissect it. And even if you still perform that action, at least if you think about the consequences and the rewards, you might re re perform that action in a, a smarter manner. And be be responsible for what you're doing, you know. And even if you, even if it's a fucking mistake, like we we all make mistakes. You Learn know? lessons. Yes. But just be responsible, man. That actually speaks. When you can hold yourself accountable, man, that comes. That's a that's a major great trait, I think, in a person. When you can hold yourself accountable for your actions, good, bad, whatever, it doesn't even matter. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you could do that, then you're gonna be all right. And and nobody's perfect. We're not saying that if you. Don't do it 100% of the time, or if you don't do it at all, you're a bad person. You know Practice what I'm saying? it. It's, yeah, it's a learning. Everything is a learning experience. So Practice it. You might it. not get it now, but it may take you next month, next year, five years from now. But if you keep on diving at it, as long as you eventually get there, that's the important thing. You know what I'm saying? As long as you, if, if you was doing nothing and now you're doing half the things taking accountability, you still yeah. made some type of progression. You exactly. know what I'm saying? So, it's, it's always, uh, uh, life in general is a working a working thing at all time. Yeah, we always working, working progress at all times. So, just just try to practice that. We we still practice it. Yep. You know what I'm saying? We just put it out there because we think that this is a this is. I thought this was a good topic. You know, yeah, um, to touch when you, on. When you when you dropped it on me, I was just like, oh, 
the universe talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> Not for real. And me. and some people, like like you said, this some people just don't they don't wanna hear this shit, but And, and if you don't have friends around you that are pointing those things out. They like, truly not your friends. You know what I'm really saying? Like, with you, man. like somebody should be able to just tell you raw what it is. You know what I'm saying? Or I didn't even say it. They don't even have to say it raw. But oh, the the message is raw. But the way you say the message don't have to be raw. You can come at your your friend on some real homie or girlfriend shit and be you know just be straight up. Hey man, I, I I've been practicing this lately. Even throw yourself in. I've been practicing this lately and it's been helping me. You know what I'm saying? Try so it. I'm you spreading this saying? knowledge to all my friends, and I want you to try it to see how it works for you. You know what I'm saying? You can put it in the nicest way you can do it, but your friends ain't pointing things out. You know what I'm saying? That they they're not really for you. You know what I'm saying? Because all they're doing is setting you up for destruction. Because right. sooner or later, someone is gonna point that out, or sooner or later, you're gonna. And it's gonna be from somebody that you don't yeah. fuck with, and you're gonna take it wrong. Yeah. And then you won't learn anything exactly. out of it. You're gonna repeat it again. So all ears open. All eyes open. That's the next. That's the that's the name of the mm. next one. Let me write this down. Hold all on. Ears. You have two ears and three eyes. Yes. <laughs> Let that that's sink true. in. Let that sink in. Number five, bitch. Brainstorming on the podcast. Yes. So, just just holding yourself accountable, man. That's that that's really important. And uh, I'm trying to think about some times where I just, I didn't hold myself accountable. I'll say, um, it was once upon a time I was blessed with a, uh, <laughs> a really good job with a nice, nice salary. Uh -huh. And um, I took it for granted, you know what I'm saying? I was, instead of investing into myself, investing into my wealth, health, all that, you know what I'm saying? I was lollygagging around, chilling with people that wasn't elevating me and all that. And then I you lost it all. was bullshitting. I lost it all. And I was pointing fingers. Oh, man. See, I was around these people. See, I'm over here trying to help. Da, 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 this and that. You know, because, you know, when you fall, the people that you were vouching for are typically, you know, I don't want to say all the time, but in some cases, they they, they ain't going to vouch for you the same way you vouch for them. So That's now, folks talk shit, yeah. Yeah, so now I'm like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Oh, dog, this and that, this and that, this day. And I had to take a step back like, you know what? It's really my fault because I allow myself to surround myself with these people. Mm -hmm. I allow myself to mm -hmm. to not think about the better me. You know what I'm saying? I allow myself to to want to to want to involve myself in pleasure instead of business. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, and it took me a couple of years to really just let it sink in because it, I was blessed again, and bam, it hit me again, and that you know, and I was saying like I want to yeah, fucked up again. The second time, you know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> nigga was hard hit it. The second time, I'm like, damn. I can't point fingers now because ain't nobody to point fingers at. It's just you. You know what I'm saying? It's just me this time. So yeah. make you look back on everything. And it's like, you know, just as quick as you can get it, you can lose it. But facts, facts, facts. I gotta I have to take accountability for my actions and this time around is you know what I'm saying? I'm not no matter if it if it if I'm up or down, I'm I'm like, you know what, it's it's all on me because I'm the only one that can you know, guide my destiny or guide exactly. my path in life. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Responsibility for my own actions. So. I'll say to add to that for an example, think about think of think about think about where you are right now. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Um, whether it's a, a good situation and, or a bad situation. Because you can you can be in a good situation and and still not be, you know, holding yourself accountable. Yeah. You know, not giving yourself that credit. That's a different type of accountability. Yeah, accountability. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's accountability. A yeah. That that's a different type because I feel I feel like there could be two. You know what I'm saying? It's a bad one. Yeah. Where you fuck up, make mistakes, and then there's a good one where you give yourself that credit. Um but for my example I would say um I would say like for example like me, like when I was when I was growing up, bro, I blamed I would not take responsibility for shit that I'd done. Yeah. And I would, a lot of times I would blame other people for the shit I was doing. You know what I mean? And that was just putting me in bad situations. When at the end of the day, it doesn't fucking matter if they told you to do it. It doesn't matter if they were in bad influence or whatever. I still chose to take those actions. Yeah. And, well, I, I'll use this, man. This is... 
I shouldn't, I try not to use this one, but I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna talk about, for a second, just childhood trauma. Okay. All right, so childhood, everybody has childhood trauma. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't have a level on it. It, it could be something little as in my parent ignored me. Yeah. That's traumatizing. You know what I'm saying? So when you grow up, you take that trauma with you. And for me, when I grew up, I took that trauma. I took some trauma from my, my childhood with me and I masked myself with this person that I wasn't and I blamed it on my childhood trauma. Hmm. I blamed it on my childhood trauma and I said, you know, well, if this one had never happened, I wouldn't be like this. Yeah, that's true. But you have to be the one to go and change it. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It does matter what happened to you in the past, but it doesn't. You gotta, you gotta Separate just. Separate yourself from that. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta hold yourself accountable, point blank. I mean, yeah. so, I mean, that's what I could, that's what I could use for an example. Because and like I said, that, that's, I didn't want to dig too deep on that because I'm, I'm gonna say that episode for another one. I'm talking about, I want to talk about some trauma, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. being traumatized as a kid and carry, carrying it on, but that's 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 so for daughter, something else. Yeah. That's for something else, but everybody goes through it, whether you see it or you don't. Some people don't even recognize it until they're fucking old as hell. Some people just don't ever, yeah, ever recognize, recognize it. it. So, um we hope that you really, you know, if you if you guys are watching this and thank you if you are. If you made it this far, we appreciate it. <laughs> and um Comment below, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just something that you want to start holding yourself accountable for. And, uh, or if you have an example that you want to share that, you know, you didn't hold yourself accountable for, but now you can say, you know what? I can't blame that because that was me. You know, we shared our, we spilled an IT. You know, if y'all want to spell your tea too, let's do the same because, like we said on the other episode, we all family, we all yeah. family and we're not judging anybody because we all in the works of to be the the best us, the best me that we Big can facts. be. You know, so you know I yeah. feel like if you don't have people in your life that are being brutally blunt with you about things, then you never you, grow. Yeah, you're you're never grow because you, mm -hmm. you're gonna have people that whether they're friends, family, a stranger. You don't want people that's gonna sugarcoat bias. or that's gonna sugarcoat be shit. biased or that's just gonna butter it up for you and tell you what you want to hear. That's but, the worst company well, me, to have. Let me oh, back up. Tell you what toxic, you man. what you need to hear and want to hear at the same time. If that's, that makes sense, you know does, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like instead of just being straight up and telling you, you know, hey, you know what I mean? Yeah, I feel I feel what you're saying, da da da. But hey, you need to do this. You know what I mean? It ain't no excuse for this. You know what I mean? I know you better than this. You know what I mean? You got you got more potential. Like hell, you gotta have people in your in your life that's truly motivating you. Like I want people if they telling me shit, come at me brutally honest. You know, tell me about myself. I might get mad. I might get offended. Whatever but if case. But you gonna walk away thinking about but it. Like later you know on, like you said, later on when I walk away and I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna be like, you know what? I appreciate. Homie. Let me step back and see how I was really acting. Yes. You know, because. Most of the times, we don't notice some shit that we do. Actually, all the time. Yeah, I was just about to say that all the time. If I was an asshole all the time and you said, you know what, Twix? You my nigga, but you you an asshole. Yeah. I, nigga, no, I'm not. Uh, you know, I'll turn up like, no, yeah. no, I'm not, bro. What you talking about? You don't even know what you're talking about. Yeah. But they're looking on the outside, so they know. You know what I'm saying? When you're looking on the outside, you know. So that's what you got to do to yourself. You got to look on the outside of yourself sometimes. Yeah. And then... That's, it's possible to do, but it's hard at the same time because accountability is not always on our brain. And it's an ego check when you do that. You checking yourself. You checking your own ego. Yeah. When and you, you need on to, the outside man. Because there's a good ego and there's a there's a bad ego. Yeah. I always say there's two sides to things. It's like there's two stories. You know, there's two sides to a story. There's two sides to everything to me. Yeah. And bitch, that's why my name is Jim and I hope. So uh, <laughs> let me sip on that real quick. <laughs> But no cap, yeah, that that's you right, you're right. And then also speaking on that, since you know we're talking about people in your life, I and my this is just my opinion, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Take it how you want it. I feel like you should never ask anyone for help. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a this word right here is it sticks around. I know y'all didn't heard this. Hey man, can you put me on? Whether it's female or male, can you put me on? I'm trying to do what you're doing. It 
don't ever come at nobody like that or even just asking them for help if you're not helping yourself. If yes. you're not putting yourself in a position to even take the help because nobody can... Anybody can help you, but nobody can get you to where you want to get. All they can do is just throw you the knowledge, yeah, they, and you yeah, have to put the yeah. you have to put the action, the action behind, behind it. it. They can tell you the words, but if you're not taking the action to do whatever it is you try to do to help yourself, man, I know so many people that every day I see on Facebook all the time. Oh, I don't have no money or this and this and this or. Why you on Facebook talking about you ain't got no money? Why you on Facebook talking about that you miserable? That, you know, you don't fuck with nobody. All this X, Y, Z shit. And, bro. Instead of saying, I'm looking for a way to make some money. I'm looking for a way. Because just like you talking like that, it was it's people in this world. It's, there are people currently, in, and there were people that were in worse positions than you are. Because if you own social media, that means you have a cell phone that you're paying every month. Mm. I'm sure it's a smartphone. So obviously it's it's not too too bad. Not saying that, you know, that just puts you in a good position, but it's people that don't even have that and they made a way or they're making a way. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So it's never any excuse whether it's financial, you you can have multiple kids, you can have multiple bills, you can have multiple whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's always a way if you truly want to get there. It may be very, very hard. It may be very, very and easy. And you might need help, right? And you might need help, but, but you how, you gotta help yourself yes, first. If you put in your if you truly wanna help yourself and you put an action in there, when you ask for help, or in most cases when you're doing that, you don't even have to ask for help. The people gonna gravitate towards you and they're, exactly. just, they're just gonna help you. And this is gonna go hand you know in saying? hand. But, but when you ask for it and you oh da 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 and you ain't trying to help yourself, yeah, they can help you get that first deal, they can help you sell that first merch, whatever, but you were never go past that first. You know what I'm saying? You're yeah. Ne at you're the never... end of the day, you're not gonna you gonna you're not gonna grow off that. Yeah. You're gonna be in the little box. You, five years from now, you're gonna be in that same little box instead of five years from now, you're an elevated past whatever because you already was had that grind to help yourself, and then the person that helped you just gave you that extra boost, and then you ran into the next person, next person, and it's and then but the grind never stops. You know what I'm saying? For me I, personally, I don't like ask people for helping it because I just feel like unless I'm just like in the worst in the worst position ever. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no way I can go. You got to ask for help. But I'm, I'm starting to learn now to not ask for help, but be willing to take help. You know what I'm saying? Because networking is the key to elevation. You know what I'm saying? Like Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of the same way. I, yeah. I, I don't like to ask for help. But sh I mean, sometimes if you have to, especially if you are trying to help yourself, there's nothing wrong with, you know, asking for help. And it don't even have to be money, man. It could be something internally that you want to work going on. Going on the you know? last podcast, if you knew better, you do better. Right. So if you don't know, you know what I'm saying, somebody else that you that's giving you the help may give you the knowledge that you never knew even existed. Mm. You know, or it, it would have took you longer to run into it because you, you know what I'm saying, if you don't know where to look at it, you don't know if it even exists, you're not actively trying to, you know what I'm saying, get there. And that person can give you that one little knowledge and that one little tip Damn, oh, I didn't even know that. And that take you to the next level. Right. How do we start helping ourselves, man? Um, wake up in the morning and write out, plan your day. Plan your day. You can even start with something as little as that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not just pulling this shit out my ass, bro. Hold on. <clears throat> I ain't pulling this shit out my ass, you feel me? I'm trying to tell y'all some shit that's going to help me out. Make sure you fill up your pay. I want to show my business. But look, man, this is me planning out my days. Okay, you feel me? Yep. This is me planning out my days. You feel me? Get your shit and plan out your day. You know what I mean? That's how you can start helping yourself out. Yeah. That's that's just number one. That's, I mean, that's you don't really, have to that's do really it. That's really important, though. I, I, don't, I don't even say that. That's a, whether you writing it down, whether you recording yourself, whether you put, like, I feel like planning your day just add structure you know what I'm it saying? does it or, makes you feel better inside bro yes. you feel like a lot of things you don't you feel like because with all this shit going on man i feel like it's easy for people to get cluttered yeah because in, I, in I'm the bad. mind that's me i'm for sure i'm not man. i'm not the best planner i'm getting there i'm better than man. i was six months ago i'm gonna get you ago. there bro i'm but gonna I'm get not, you there. i'm not the best planner you know but when <laughs> i do when I do do my planning right and I actually stick to it, Feels good. it makes me feel accomplished because you, you like, oh, damn, I done did that and did this. Instead of your day just going to you, really, when your day going, you don't even know what you did. Hey, what you did today? Most of the time, somebody asks you what you do today, and you, oh, you know what? I went to the uh, I went to the store and then, because you're thinking about it, you don't even know what you did. Yes. You got to go back. You when you planning it, you already got that in your head. You're like, oh, I went to the store. I went this, this and that. You ready to, you know what I'm saying? Because you got to. 
you got a routine that's every day and then you planning each one of your days mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. so it does help it just yes. i'm not the best at it so you know what i'm saying try it this, man yo i, I try it it's just that it's when it, it's gonna take me some time because when you're not used to doing something i yeah I, I may plan my day but then two of the six things i get done on the list that's what i mean but i'm not good at planning you know what i'm saying well, like, I, i'll plan it but a lot of times i don't go through with everything but i just need to it just, you know what I mean? I'm getting better at it, you know what I mean? Like, now I do maybe four out of six type, you know what I mean? But but that's not the wrong yeah, way. You got it's, some it's, shit. I'm getting progression. I'm getting there. there. You know what I mean? I'm getting things done. It's, it makes my day go by easier by me planning whether I, uh, what are we doing? Oh, whether I'm, uh, whether I get everything done or just a few things done. But my goal is to get everything done every day. You know what I'm saying? I usually get the the business, the more business things done first, I guess you could say that. Like, my but the things that are important, like, I might plan to go to the gym. I might plan to cook a meal at a certain time. You know, just like stuff like that's about life. I never like do it right on point. I like this, man. I don't mean to interrupt, mm-hmm. but this wine is hard. Big facts. And it's so smooth. I'm always looking for a smooth wine. Yeah. That other one we drank. That second one. Oh, that's the That, that shit had me fucked up, bro. The one we drank last time? That shit gave me a headache. Oh, yeah. That, that stuff had me. I was out of there. I was. I fell asleep when I went to the crib. That yeah, I, that's what I'm about to say. I, 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 I totally went to sleep. I crashed. I was on the couch. I just dozed off. I can't, <laughs> I can't do that today, man. I got shit to do. I got to stay up. <laughs> I want to challenge y'all. I know sometimes we throw out some challenges and shit. Um, to hold yourself accountable for one. Even if it's, you don't have to do it every day. Just try to hold yourself accountable for a day of your actions. It doesn't matter if it's something good or bad. Because like I said, we all make mistakes and we still learning. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And challenge number two. I challenge y'all to map out your day before it even gets started. So even if you got to do it the night before or wake up a little bit earlier in the uh, that same day. And just write, just write out what you what you plan to do. Do you know it's actually harder than it sounds? I know people. You just gotta get a piece of paper and no, because then you really gonna sit and be like, okay, what do I gotta do today? What and it, do take, I have to do today? It takes 10, 15, 20 and minutes. And that helps you. I don't know about well, it, it will, it will. I'm about to say I don't know about everybody else, but for me, <clears throat> it it helps me not leave any like open spaces throughout my day yeah. to just bullshit you feel me yeah. like you're always being productive because <clears throat> i have it written down i know what i need to do now if you just got a free day and you chilling then you just chilling you know what i mean then you just you relaxing but nine times out of ten we all got something to do every day yeah. almost every day or we all should be doing something every day yeah I'll even if that. it's uh yeah even if you all if you, if you plan to walk productive. in the park or you want to you know what I'm saying? I, I hope your plan ain't to just watch TV all day. You know, which ain't nothing wrong I've with that. I've done that before. I, I, I have <laughs> done that, but I'm saying even within that, you're gonna be like, "Hey, okay, I plan. I'm, I'm gonna cook breakfast at this time. Like even simple yeah. stuff like that. Like, I'm gonna clean up my room. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm gonna watch the TV from from two to eight. You know what I mean? Like at least you put a plan out there. If you don't get something done, you know, I'll beat yourself up about it. Oh damn, man, you know I need to do better. Next, tomorrow facts. I'm gonna make sure I facts, get this stuff facts. done. You know what I'm saying? Put that out there, man. Right? Hold yourself accountable. You know, Big cause facts. and nobody else gonna tell you that. Oh, you should have did today because nobody else know you're doing it. Nobody else looking at your plan. You looking at your plan every but day. But we here for y'all, man. So we are here. We love every, each and every person that actually watches our channel. Like we fuck with y'all, and thank you so much for tuning in, man. And again, you know what I'm saying this is the middle of the podcast, but subscribe to the channel. Hit that post notification so Ding. y'all can get notified every time we drop a video. It's going to be every Friday we drop, wait. Yeah, every Friday we drop a video. <laughs> I was about to say Saturday. <laughs> I don't know why, but yeah, every Friday we drop we drop these videos. And I know it's going to be somebody, a negative Nancy out there, you know, saying that we, we, we act like we know everything or, you know what I'm saying, we don't. as far as this the shit we kick. Everything that we kick to y'all, it's just... Life, life hacks that has helped us, you know what I'm saying, become a better person or we in the process of doing it. You know, like, just like we said, holding yourself accountable. We, we still in the process of doing it. We do it sometimes, but this is something that we need to practice every day until we get it down packed. See we're giving happens. you our personal experiences, you know what I'm saying? Now, we're not saying we're we not looking up some stuff. We're not 
learning from Joe Blow. You know, or besides little things, you know what I'm saying? The, but for the most, 95% nah, of the stuff. Nah, because listen, bro. Yeah. I'm going to say just like when we looked up accountability, you know, looking that up online or just. But, that's just for y'all to know, hey, you know, this is what it means. Because when you ask somebody, what, is account of, what does accountable mean or accountability mean? They're going to be like, oh, uh, uh, you know. Get 10 different answers. That really, yeah, exactly. So just to pinpoint that definition down is just in lamest terms, man, taking responsibility yeah, but it's, for your it's, actions, really. <laughs> the worst you can do, I mean, the, I'll say the best you can do is try it and it don't work. Oh, y'all wrong. Then, yeah, you can say that, you know, maybe it didn't or, or say it didn't work for me. Yeah, it didn't work for me. Yeah, it didn't work for me. It's not a wrong or right situation. It's, hey, it didn't work for me because yeah. it doesn't work for you. don't mean it don't work for the, the next 10 people. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. like, take That's it. True. You know what I mean? It, the, if what you're doing now is not helping you, it's not changing, not getting to where you want to get, hey, what do you have to lose? You, you know what I'm saying? You continue doing what you're doing anyway. You're not going to get, you know what I'm saying? So why not try something different? See if it works. If it work, hey, bam, you don't learn something new. If it don't, then hey, go on to the next one and try to find something different. Every every episode is not going to be for everybody. We try to make it for everybody because we try to um, we try to speak on like real life shit. You know what I'm saying? That things. that that happened to people. Like we're not going to sit here and acting like we're perfect. You know what I'm saying? Even off camera, how we come up with these titles and how we come up with these you know topics to talk about. We talk about our personal shit to each other off camera. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And you know, if 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 the punches roll with it and it's it's good good for the the episode, then we just we just let it roll. But you know, we're not just pulling this shit out out of our ass and just doing this shit for content or for you know some views or whatever. This is shit that could really help you out. Yeah, you know what I mean? We hope that it helps you out because this is what we we here to. Literally spread nutritional life hacks, and like, we on some positive shit. You feel me? Like stuff at most all people times. don't tell you. Like people don't, or if they do tell you, they got it in some type of course or something like that. You know what I'm saying? No one people don't be most people don't be transparent. You know what I'm saying? And we don't have any personal bonds to you. We family, but we don't. You know what I'm saying? I can't. I don't see you. I can't. You're not tangible right now. Yeah. So I don't have no opinion. I can't. I don't know who you are. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just spreading the love. Just. Not non opinion un unconditioned, just Man, that, straight up. But you know that's that's a pure that's that's us just moving in with pure intentions, bro. Yes. Take a step back, you know what I'm saying, and be like, you know what? Like what, I said, am I moving love? out of love? Yeah. Or am I moving out of ego? Yeah, and then and then really take that too. and then take accountability for those actions and then even, you know, then going forward, continue that. But ego check yourself when you before you take accountability. Really take a step back because it'll really help you see what you need to take accountability of. You know what I'm saying? Amen. Now, we're going to get a little ratchet. Just a little bit, man. You know what I'm saying? We know we got <laughs> our little positive note, but uh, <clears throat> we're going to play a little bit of some some music. You know what I'm saying? And bro, just let them know we can find it because I'm about to hit it. So, you know what? Um, I know y'all probably heard this on first episode, actually. We're gonna, uh, we wanna start playing songs, underground artists, uh, you know, showing some love at the end of each podcast. Let y'all know what it send is. Send in your music! You know what I'm saying? Send your music <laughs> on, comment below, uh, send the links. Uh, we, we might put our email, email matter of fact. Yeah. We're gonna put the email uh, right down there so you can just send it straight to the email. And you know what? We just really, we, we wanna hear some good music, man. You know, we feel like it's a lot of talent out here that doesn't get noticed. So we want to, you know, give y'all that exposure Man, you know what? I need. Before we, before, before we play the song, I hear a lot of people say, talent, talent this, talent that, talent this. Oh. Let's, let's steer from using that. Right. It's a gift. Yes. It's a gift because not everybody can do it. It's a gift, man. Big fact. So we have, so. we have a lot of, we <laughs> have a lot of people with gifts Get in this city, with outside of this city, you know, wherever you are, you know what I'm saying? So we, you know, we 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 wanna we wanna hear you exercise that gift. So we're gonna start popping music at the end of every podcast. Right now, we're gonna uh, play some Erlaw Virtuoso. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Nonchalant, available on all platforms. So uh, gonna look me up. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, I'm gonna gonna kick that sauce. That face. Bro, they wanna play a bunch of ass. Yep, shit. <laughs> there you go. They're trying to get paid. Yeah. That's how I get paid. <laughs> <laughs> Back then, no, I wasn't 
G. Then talked about me. Even then, knew I was a G. Wise man told me when you have importance, they always don't talk about he. God man flow out of reach. Profit up or I'm in reach. Ooh, find me a beat I deceased. It's levitate off from my feet. Lit. One, two, three, four, five, six. Running up a whole lot of digits. Bang till I touch in the bills all day. Used to be high in a trap all day. Put down the weed and accelerate it. Velocity, speed, squalor, quantity. Rapidly and moving like Check that out. All music platforms, you know, at Apple, if y'all the Androids, whatever y'all listen to on Android, Samsung Music, you know what I mean? Hey. Check that shit out, man. Since I am over here DJing, y'all go stream my shit. Next pressure found pressure, on pressure, all pressure, pressure, all pressure. all everywhere, nigga. Find it find that thing everywhere. Find that Twitchy. shit in find That's that sh Gemini. Find that shit in your grandma's CD player, nigga. <laughs> You know, what I'm saying? you know what I'm saying? So go check us out, man. Erlov and Twixie, that Gemini, all music platform. Oh. Mm. Mm. Ooh. 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 Bring it out. Uh. Bring it out. Music, Spotify, uh, YouTube. Now I, I can. The list goes on and on. All on all streaming sites. Go download that right but now. But proceed with caution. Yeah. That's that, that pressure. pressure. That's that pressure. Bro, that <laughs> that that be so. That hoe. Uh, you know. That you know. Every that. time somebody hear this song, they be like, "Yo, I, I I sent this song to a nigga. Right? He was doing a music review. I sent it to the nigga. He was. He first of all, he didn't like the song. What? He said the song was garbage. Wow, that nigga capping. Then he bounced back and said, oh, I killed this hoe. I just beat it so loud. I killed this. <laughs> the song is tight because of what I fucking put on it. Okay? Yeah. Ain't nobody fucking with this. 
You want to know why running on the treadmill set? Give yeah. us some likes and comments, you know what I'm saying? Help us, you know, get them streams, you feel me? Yes, sir. So, man, we just want to, we want to end y'all with some good ass music, you know what I'm saying? Thank you for tuning in. Uh, we hope y'all got a strong ass message out of this. And like any other episode, we do want to leave y'all with some good knowledge, some good positive words. Y'all stay encouraged. Remember, you are love. You are peace. You are beautiful. And hold yourself accountable. And don't let what's on your chest go to your head. Go to your head. And we out, man. Y'all subscribe. What the? And we back. Back at it like a crack at it.